Movie theaters, gyms, and rec centers are now included in the mass shutdown. Tessa DeTiro is covering that part of the story tonight. She's in Clifton for us this evening. Hey, Tessa. Good evening, Kyle. So the final showing for the foreseeable future ended at 10 o'clock here at the Esquire Theater. The movie was Parasite, and a man who watched the movie said he was one of three people sitting inside the theater. He said that was a little eerie. But movie theaters aren't the only businesses that shut their doors today. On the eve of their biggest business day of the year, the bar stools are empty at Molly Malone's Irish Pub in Covington. We do a lot of business. It's one of those days where it helps you catch up and it kind of helps you out when something like this comes along, you know what I mean? Before the pub closed ahead of St. Patrick's Day, bartenders and servers gathered to have a final drink and meal. Not knowing what's happening, we don't know what the time frame on this is going to be. You know, we just have to wait and wait and see. Molly's regulars came out to show the staff their support. I wish them all luck. And you got St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, so we wish them all the four-leaf clovers that we can give them and hope and hope and pray that everybody comes out of here safe and alive. See you all when we uh, get through this, you know, and we'll, uh, we'll have a party then. Just down the street, Goodfellas sits on the block that usually shuts down for the holiday. This year, the pizza shop is offering carryout only. We have a good relationship with Cock and Bull, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's us and this whole block is normally uh, doing quite well, but fortunately that's not the case this year. Movie theaters are shuttered and gyms offered their final classes this evening. I don't know what I'm going to do about my employees. I don't know if I should lay them off and then they, they collect unemployment. I mean, th there's a lot of things that, that we have to do in the next 24 hours. I mean, there's quick decisions. The clients are disappointed they won't be able to work out inside the gym for a while, but they understand why it's important. They're asking us to, to FaceTime them and, you know, can you come to our house and train us? Can you FaceTime? Can you do some online training? Uh, we just got to go through the rough times for the next, you know, four, five weeks, however long it takes. So the man that I spoke with that was in that final showing here at the Esquire Theater, he said he spoke with the manager and the manager says usually they have their now showing on their marquee. But during the shutdown, he says maybe he'll put up some messages to communicate with their regulars while the theater is shut down for the time being. Live in Clifton, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Back to you in the studio. Tessa, thank you.